And this one is from Louis Vuitton. It's just a small box. This is actually my second Louis Vuitton item. This is it, guys. Tan -tararan. Oops. It's me again, Wilmar, and welcome back to another episode of my vlog. For today's episode of my vlog, I'm going to do another unboxing, and I hope you liked it. But before anything else, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please make sure to hit that subscribe button with that bell to get notified whenever I have a new video like this one. So the first item that I'll be unboxing today, guys, is this box that I just came in today. So I've been wanting this for so long and it's been out of stock for three months now. This item is still out of stock online but they have them in different stores all over Canada. So I've called, it's a store in Vancouver and a store in Montreal. I decided to go with Montreal because they were able to respond to my question faster. So I. I dealt with the store in Montreal to reserve one of this item so I was able to purchase it. So this one just came in this morning. So let's again open it. And this is the box. Yeah. It was raining so it's a little bit wet from the bottom of it. Oops. So just open it guys and this one is from Louis Vuitton. So I purchased something from Louis Vuitton and I'll be showing it with you guys. So if you open this, this is oops, how the box looks like. So it comes with this card. Oh, this was actually my receipt. This is my receipt. Oh, the paper is really thick. So, this is the receipt. And then, we also have another one. I don't know what this for. Oops. Another one. just nothing it's just a white paper I don't know what is it for and then this is the actual item that I purchased and it comes with this ribbon and this paper bag this paper bag so before I show you the item guys, I've been wanting this for so long and I've been watching for it to arrive because you know like there's a Filipino group here in Winnipeg that um, someone's package from Louis Vuitton was stolen or something. The, the actual box that was sent or delivered to their home address was um, opened. The actual product she bought in Louis Vuitton was missing so I think she reported it to FedEx and Louis Vuitton so I don't know what's happening right now. So that it alarmed me because I have a package that's coming from Louis Vuitton also and it's through FedEx so I've been tracking the item since it was shipped and I'm very thankful because it was in our front door this morning because I don't want to go with the hassle of contacting FedEx and having a reimbursement to actual Louis Vuitton because I believe some of the comments there also said that they have the same experience and then um, they filed a report to FedEx and through Louis Vuitton also and then Louis Vuitton was able to reimburse them the actual money but I don't know what happened to the product so she said some of the comments say that the process was long so I wasn't really wanting that for me to happen so I've been tracking this item to arrive since it was shipped so I'm very thankful that it was with me right now so it's just a small box this is actually my second Louis Vuitton item I have a 
messenger bag that I've never been that I've never used for some time now because it's really big. It's an off office bag, but you know I've often want to just use my either uh, my Burberry or my Coach um, messenger bag because it looks better on me. So this is how the box looks like. So if you pull this one. This will show and comes with a dust bag. So the item that I bought is a oops a card holder. So I just bought myself a new card holder. Okay, so this is called the Slender Packet Organizer. So currently in the actual Louis Vuitton store, it still says out of stock, but good thing I have, I mean, they have this one in Montreal, so I was able to buy it. So I don't know what's this, it's just a sticker or something. And this is, it just says that coated fabric whatsoever so I bought this one because I wanted to have a new card case because the one that I'm currently using right now is the one I have from Gucci and this Gucci card case is really good it can um, have at least five credit cards or debit cards whatever cards you have but for the Louis Vuitton one it can have at least six well which is more and you can also have this container from there so it's really good you can put some of cash or whatsoever because for this one you can't really put cash it's just basically cards and this one I think it will be a lot better so with regards to some of its feature, it is a lightweight slender packet organizer made from a scratch resistant graphite coated canvas with a leather lining, neatly proportioned wallet post a variety of packets and credit card slots in the compact format. So this is 3.1 by 4.3 by 0.4 inches. And this is a product made from Paris. Mm. It smells like leather, strong leather. So comparing it from my Gucci card case, they are basically almost the same size. There we go guys. The Louis Vuitton one is just a little bit bigger. So yeah, the price for this one is $400 and then I bought it for $440 something because you have to add 12% tax on it on top of the price. So yeah, this is my new card case. A few moments later. And then the next item that I'll be showing you guys is the one that I just recently purchased. So some of you might know already that the first AirPods I purchased, it was from Costco originally. I lost the left one, I guess. It's, it was a left one. I don't even know where I put it already because I bought a cheaper version of it in Canadian Tire. That's the one that I'm currently using. So I've lost the left one. So I put away the case and the right one. I don't know where is it right now. When I went and checked um, Walmart because I do a lot of shopping in Walmart in terms of groceries, dog foods, those kind of stuff. I always buy them from Walmart. And then I don't know, I don't know what I was thinking that time, but I decided to check electronics. And when I checked electronics, I saw that it was on rollback. And the original price of it was 179, but when I looked at it, it was for 159. So I contacted my friend who's working in Walmart to buy it for me, but unfortunately she said that they don't have anything in stock for that AirPods in their store. So what we did is that we went to the actual store um, one Sunday and then we bought it because 
she can use her discount too. So the original price of the AirPods that was on rollback was 159 something. And then we only bought it for 160 50 because she was able to use her discount so basically we bought it um on the actual price that was seen on that product because she has a 10 percent discount and uh tax here in manitoba is 12 percent. so yeah i only paid two percent tax for the whole item so here is the box guys i mean here's the bag so so i just wanted to say also that i really love my music and every time i go i'm always with my headset or my airpads but unfortunately the current airpads i have is not so okay because you know it only lasts for an hour or two and then it doesn't come with a charging case so i decided to buy another apple airpads because you know it is more convenient for me and it the airpads last longer for a couple of hours and if it's low battery already you can just put it back to its case so yeah so here it is guys here is my new airpads and today we are going to unbox it well i also i already have another unboxing video for the first airpads i have so you can just check it out but it, it should be the same there's really nothing that's different different from it i was thinking of buying the pro one but you know like what i've said I may lost it again one day so I've decided to just stick with this one and this is how the actual airpads looks like this is what's inside designed by Apple in California and this is how the actual thing looks like so it just comes with the charger here so yeah that's it guys there you go so I hope I won't lose it let's pray for that or else I may cry there you go guys thank you again so much for tuning in and for watching this vlog I hope you enjoyed it and before anything else if you're not yet subscribed to my channel please make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you'll get notified whenever i have a new video like this one thank you again so much and see you next time keep safe guys bye